Fiona Messiah, Akim Solomon and Brian Goodbridge were the only three survivors in the horrific three-vehicle accident on the Ross Public Road, West Coast Burbies. The three vehicles collided early Saturday and were damaged beyond repair. Regional Commander of Region 5, Senior Superintendent Curly Simon, indicated on Monday during a telephone interview with the newsroom that the victims are recovering well but are still hospitalized at the Georgetown Public Hospital. All are stable on the Georgetown Hospital. Right, I think two words want to go correct the search for different parts of their bodies today. One had a broken leg or broken hip, mm-hmm. one had a broken rib or three broken rib, I should say. Mm-hmm. That's, um, I might forget to leave them. <laughs> Anyhow, That's right. right? And mm-hmm. the other one was, this condition was stable. The accident claimed the lives of Joel Jacob, Jamal Lynch, Lyndon McFarlane, Jashawn Saul, Kiana Dow, and Gary Blair. Autopsies were conducted on the six victims, and according to the commander, they died from multiple injuries and burns sustained as a result of the inferno. Oh, um. uh, for instance, died of um, at least the three persons from the X ray, that would be um, Dow, Blair, and uh, I can't remember the other name off the top of my head right now. They died from multiple injuries. The other three from the car. They died from multiple injuries and burning. The newsroom spoke to Jamal Lynch's sister, Tamika Williams, who told reporters that her brother would have celebrated his 22nd birthday and the yard would have been filled with friends and relatives for the celebration. Instead, they have only been left with grief. The neighbor came and offered us a drive and took us to the spot and then I saw a burnt body and then Jamal was just there lying lifeless. Um, his foot was broken, his neck was broken. I don't know if he tried to jump from the window. And then the, the other boy, um, Saul, he was in the corner, all badly broken. So his legs, everything was badly broken. Lynch lived a few streets away from his friend, Jashon Saul. His mother, Marva Saul, 57, told the newsroom that she got a call from her daughter-in-law who t- asked her if her son had returned home. It was then that Mr. Saul was told that two of her son's friends were in an accident. Immediately, she knew that her son too would have been involved, but she, because he was always with Jamal. So she tell me now, I should wish I hear that it's about Jamal and, and others. So I, um, from the time I hear she mentioned Jamal's name, well I knew to my heart that Joshua had to be in it because he uh, and Jamal right. always be together. If it's not he and Jamal get on the ground, not a friend, but the other friend didn't go with them last night. The accident occurred at around 3.30 hours. Police said that McFarlane was driving PNN 3526 while Lynch and Saul were passengers. Blair was behind the wheel of PYY 4293 while the other car, PWW 208, was being driven by Solomon. According to the police, Blair and Solomon were proceeding west along the public road at a fast rate, while McFarlane was proceeding east also at a fast rate, when a collision occurred. As a result, McFarlane's vehicle burst into flames. The other vehicles were wrecked beyond repair. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shakima Day.